It's the start of vacation and I'm about to drop Crasley off. He's way back in the back. Dropping him off for some boarding and also to get caught up on all of his vaccines. All right, so I'm at Kroger picking up some essentials for the trip. You can see what the essentials are. John's at the warehouse working for a quick bit before um, we head out on the road. We're waiting for um, my sister and brother-in-law to finish up with their day at work. And then we're gonna be on the road. All right, I got the essentials and came to pick John up. Wanted to show you guys his warehouse um, and where he spends most of his days. Hey guys. So John is a reseller. I think um, there's quite a few of you guys who have um, subscribed to him or actually came from Cincinnati Pickers channel to um, be the village. But this is where he works. This is his awesome wall of, do all of, is all that stuff stuff that came from people? Just about, yeah. Yeah, so. 90% of the people have sent me, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, viewers send him stuff to add and then sometimes he finds some stuff. Printing out some labels. Yep, got some email orders I gotta get out the door before we head out. Yeah, can I show them the back? Of course. Aw, oh, look at the Happy Father's Day stuff. Love it. All right, let's check out back here. So that's his office area, and then here is where all of his inventory is. He actually cut me on a pretty organized day. <laughs> so it's actually pretty, pretty clean. This is his shipping area. If you don't uh, follow John, uh, feel free to jump on over to his channel. Um, he uh, buys and sells. All right, we're finally on the road and we are driving through downtown. And we haven't been down here since before COVID. And so we are driving right past Great American Ballpark. We miss you. I miss you guys. Sister and brother in law, yeah. Jessica and Brennan. Brennan is the uh, mastermind behind most of the music you hear on my channel. Um, I'm yeah, good. we'll put a link here. <laughs> we'll see if I get that right. Crookedpathmusic.com. Crookedpathmusic.com. Um, so we're excited because we get to have like grown up time. We're never not around the kids. They have like four kids in like. their. I don't think it's like they have four kids. Four kids, it feels like ten. They have four kids. It can be a lot. And then like with ours, like it's usually chaotic when we're all together. Uh, but a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So while we uh, drive, we've had a lot of questions about like foster care and traveling and like what the rules are. Um, and for us, like it, it was actually interesting because someone commented about prudent parenting and how in their state of Wisconsin, um, you can leave the state with a kid in, in care for up to 48 hours, and that's considered prudent parenting. Interesting. Yeah, um, here that's not the case. You <laughs> so, can leave the state for four minutes. Yeah, technically, uh, we, we've talked about this in a video where we went to the Newport Aquarium, so Cincinnati um, sits like right on the river, um, and then Kentucky's on the other side, and our aquarium, it's technically in Kentucky you have to cross the river and that's actually not allowed technically uh, you would need to like get approval for that or at least let them know like where you where you're going so whenever you, you are fostering children and you need to travel at least in Ohio um, you've got three choices uh, first choice is to bring the kids with you and for us if we're going out of state that means we have to get approval from the parents yes and parents from, and yeah. the care team yep. yeah um, option two is the child stays with uh, kind of like a 
family member, some kind of kinship. That's been like a, that. that's been approved for yeah. respite care, overnight care, but it would you know be somebody that they know. So that's currently what's happening with Miss A. So she is with John's mom, who um, just got certified to be a respite provider. So this was like really great scenario. We did see if she could come, but um, it was not approved, and we were not looking to put up another fight like we did yeah. with the uh, big Arizona trip, uh, which had to get a court to overrule the parents' decision um, with that. But anyway, that's that's another video. Uh, option three is the child stays with a respite care provider that would be a stranger to them. Um, obviously, this is not an ideal solution, so yeah. it's kind of a last resort. And we were super grateful that my mom did the training uh, in Ohio to become a respite care provider. You need so many hours of training, and you, know, you got to get through a home study. It's sort of like a lot, you of know, a lot of the stuff that you would do for you know become a foster parent. Maybe like one fourth, yeah, the amount of training hours. Yeah, you say? foster parents who get approved um, or licensed, we have to do extra training and a lot more documentation, like a lot more paperwork. But um, Jessica and Brennan are about to be uh, approved respite providers as well. They're going through the process. Oh, so if so, if we were to, you know, go on this trip and Miss A, you know, couldn't come with us or any kiddo couldn't come with us, um, you know, if we didn't have anybody in our family who is available to be respite providers or if they have like a conflict, they might be out of town, um, then we would let our caseworker know and she would work to locate a family within our network. Um, and, you know, they, they do a really good job of trying to be like conscious of, you know, oh, I say, you know, a lot people get mad at me. <laughs> really? So like for Miss A, like she was finding the homes that had like, you know, teenagers in them, like trying to find homes that she would feel comfortable. So we're just grateful that she's with John's mom. Absolutely. <laughs> and I think she's excited. We were really sad when we left and had to say bye because this is the longest time we've been away from her. Yep. I think she was a little sad too. I think so. But she's going to get spoiled like crazy. Oh yeah. Mom's a spoiler. Mom is pretty excited about this. Yes. She's been looking forward to it for a while. Yes, yes, yes. So we have three and a half more hours on the road. Did you tell them where we're going? I don't know. You don't know where we're going? Maybe we should let that be a surprise. You don't want to talk about it? No. All right. I don't know how good of a surprise it is, but <laughs> I think it's pretty fun. We're going to Garage Hill. <laughs> We're going, uh, we have an Airbnb with a couple of John's uh, reselling pals, uh, Kevin and Lonnie, who I'm pretty sure they'll be fine to introduce themselves to the channel. So we'll show you, the, show you them. Um, but we are going to be hanging out and going garage sailing for the 127 sale. So this is a very special sale. I've been doing it several times. It is advertised as the world's longest yard sale. It starts up in Michigan and goes all the way down to Alabama. It is one road. It's like 690 miles where there's actually garage sales set up. I think the road's longer than that, but those are, you know, the documented sales that are on the street. So it runs right through Cincinnati. So I've been to it a number of times. It's a lot of fun. And last year we came down to Tennessee and met up with Lonnie and Kevin because 127s right through Tennessee yeah. and hit a bunch of sales and it was a blast. So we're doing it again this year, kind of a vacation a lot, and yeah. you know, finding and, stuff. Yeah, it, it, it's a fun you know way for us to um, you know all be together. And Jessica and Brendan are joining us this time. We're excited about it. Well, for the next couple of days, you'll be seeing a lot of garage sailing. Um, and other than that, we're just kind of going to be hanging out and having fun. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's keep driving. We're able to get dinner. I'm someone, I don't know if there are people out there like me but I like to get like totally unpacked when I get to a place it's like I've already set out all of my things like um yes there's washer and dryer in our bathroom um I've already put away all of my clothes which had to kind of improvise because they don't have a uh, dresser so I just kind of 
hung the stuff up and there's a little shelf. Uh, but now we are going to play some games, relax, just kind of chill um, and get ready for tomorrow, a full day of garage sailing. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you tomorrow. Thank you.